Hey guys and welcome to DC Invasion This is Day Watch and today I will be showing you guys how to overclock your Mac. So to do that you're gonna need Turbo Boost Switcher for OS X. So you you just gonna wanna need to head to this website. I'll just link it down below in the description. Then you have to scroll down and press on download a free binary application. Press on it. It will just try to download this time. It will automatically extract it up. Just press on it. It will open up this thing right here. You have to move Turbo Boost Switcher up this application to your application Actually, I have it already installed, so I'll just press and stop. After you have copied it to your applications folder, you're gonna wanna need to open up, open it up. So when you open it up, it, it will pop up something like this on your this notification bar. Then you when you press on it, it will show that it's on, and it will show you the CPU load, the speed that your fan is running on the temperature of your CPU so these these are the things that will show so if you want to untick uh, you you can take this option so that would show that's on and off in the notification status bar text so and you can click uh, you can untick this option because then it would it won't open up and continuously after logging in so but I I, I want it to open so I was pressing I'll just take the option and one thing I want to tell you guys is that if we're con um, keeping this uh, turbo boost on will uh, maintain the load on your processor so it will heat up more so I recommend using SMC fan control to minimize the effect so let me just show you guys Wait, let me just search it in Spotify. Yeah, here it is. You can use this um, software to maintain the speed of your fan at its most. And you can use this app to, um, you can just be like going to preferences and setting um, the speed of the exhaust ba based on your um, need. And uh, you can just name it. So I named it as Gate Talk. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's it for this video. You can just do it, um, speed up your Mac by overclocking its CPU using Turbo Boost. And I can just show you by doing a geek bench. Doing a benchmark using the Press open. Probably later. Okay, let's just wait. So yeah, I'll be back when this is done, but it's going to take a lot of time. Okay guys, so Geekbench just completed up, and uh, it just popped up my Safari browser, and here's the score. So single core 2931, and multi core 5592, on my bankbook air, with Turbo Boost turned on. So let's just do a Geekbench, uh, uh, a benchmark with Turbo Boost turned off. So let me just turn it off. Disable Turbo Boost. I'm gonna wanna have to enter my password to do that. Okay. So yeah, you get this uh, ex extension block error when whenever you go to uh, try to disable it up. So to fix that, you'll need to. Oh, sorry guys. You'll need to go in this folder and read me. This error occurs during when you try to op disable it when in the high zero version. So the only thing that you need to do is just after clicking on disable turbo boost and only if nothing happens go to control panel, security and privacy. So then you wanna wanna have to head to security and privacy. When you're done heading up, just go to general, then you have to press on allow. Okay, when you're done doing that, press on class, minimize it up, 
I can't find a disable it up. It's disabled for boost. Okay, I don't know why it's was why it doesn't happen. Yeah, now it's off. As you guys can see, it's off. You can't completely see that. It's giving me option to enable it up, but I won't do that because I'm gonna test it with turbo boost off. Ah. So let's run it again. And CPU benchmark. Again, that's gonna take a lot of time, so I'll skip this part. But before I skip it, I wanna tell you one thing: that this is with the um, turbo boost turned on, and this benchmark is happening with the turn, turn, turbo boost turned off. So I'll just show you those little side by side, so you can get a better judgment of what's happening and what are the improvements. So yeah, I'll be back when this is done. Okay guys, so the benchmark is almost done but the, but the turbo will turn off. So it's just uploading results and it just popped up this thing. So I'll just open it a new tab. Copy it up. Then I'll just hit the... Okay, so these are the results with Turbo Boost turned on. Yeah, I, I just showed you guys it. And these are the results with the Turbo Boost turned on. So it makes a huge difference. So uh, it's almost 1,000, 1,000 difference between the single score, a single core score, and the multi score core score. It's almost 2,000. So yeah, as it, you may get a better judgment now. With the turbo boost turned off, these are the scores, and with it turned on, these are the scores. So, yeah, it makes a pretty huge difference. So, I recommend you getting this, this thing. And, yeah, at last, I would like to tell you please use SMC fan control to control the heat of your processor because, while well, using this thing, it will heat up your processor a lot. So, I recommend you using SMC fan control uh, at higher speed. So that will help you minimize the heat and push it down. So thanks guys for watching this video. Please do like, subscribe, share and comment most importantly to get more videos at our channel which is DC Innovation.